What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I bought a car. It's a 2020 Keontu K50 electric supercar. So the box is right behind me, but before we get to it, let me show you guys how I got the car. Importing a car like this is no easy feat. And uh, let me just show you what we did. It was a long process. It took me eight months of coordinating with the seller. $29,000 original cost for the car, plus $2,000 he asked additional for the car, plus $9,000 of customs fees. So we were looking at 40 grand for this car. So I'm super excited to show you guys the journey. Let's get to it. All right, well, let the nightmares begin. I have to do customs again. We have to head out. Seller lied to me. This is so it's been sitting in the warehouse for seven days. I didn't even know about it. So we're heading down to LA. <laughs> Just got the oil changed before the long trip. It's like a four hour, uh, 230 something mile drive. So it's gonna be quite the day. Gonna be quite the day. Hopefully it goes smoothly. That's all we care about. Uh, the seller said they were shipping it. He was handling all of customs and he was shipping it and everything to uh, my address, like to my house. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't do any of that. And he didn't even, he put the wrong information for me so the arrival notice for the ship didn't even get sent to me. So it's been sitting in the freaking warehouse for seven days racking up storage fees. And I mean, the only reason I know that it's there is because I emailed around to everybody involved and somebody finally got back to me. And because of that, of course, I have to do customs and everything. So last minute I had to get a customs broker. I had to file the HS7 form. I had to do all this stuff. Ugh. Nightmare, dude, nightmare. But hopefully today's the end of it, so. So this is flatbed trailer right here. We're gonna be taking off the sides and just so we have enough, you know, maximum space that we can on the flatbed. Apparently, according to the specs of the car, the sheet that the guy sent me, the seller sent me, it's 81.2 or so inch wheelbase width, width of the car, and this trailer is 83 point something. So we've got maybe two inches to play with, you know, one inch on either side of the car. All right, let's get this show on the road. All right guys, situation update. I've been on the phone for like, a while I've been calling my customs broker the shipping guy the shipping guy the, he released the payment he did the freight release for me so he was set on there then the customs broker was still working on filing today and they just finished filing for me after a couple calls uh, that I had to make to get them on it and guess what guys it's gonna be eight thousand six hundred sixty six dollars to um, for the customs and uh, we need to pick this thing up in two hours. Luckily, I called the customs broker again because I was not expecting that much, like $9,000 for customs. Not expecting that. Um, so I called the customs broker, talked to him, he broke it down for me. And I said, I, I don't have that in my bank account currently. Can, is there a way that you guys do like bill later and I can pay it off, you guys release shipment and then we bill later. He had me speak to a manager, uh, the, actually the first person I called, Tracy, and she hooked it up, she let us do it, she's not supposed to. Technically, when you're doing importing and customs, anything, you have to pay the invoices before they release the shipment. Um, but she literally put her job on the line and, uh, and just let us, she's gonna let us get the shipment without having paid the invoice. But I have to get it to her by Friday, which is two days from now. But that was a huge lifesaver. I explained the situation that we are uh, driving like six hours or whatever to get this thing. And uh, so she let us, but man, that was very stressful. <laughs> then I had to make the phone call to my wife <laughs> and tell her it's gonna be another $9,000. <laughs> so yeah, I thought this was gonna be uh, of less than this car, but it's 40 grand into it now at this point. But oh, and another thing is the freaking um, warehouse, they close at 2 p.m. We're on the road and we're supposed to get there legit at 2 p.m. That's our ETA, but of course we're hauling a trailer and everything, so we can't go quite as fast, you know, as I normally would in just a car. But um, man, quite the quite the stressful scenario here. <laughs> There's a lot of little factors going into it that are just 
piling up all of a sudden right now. But I think we're all set to get the, get the shipment. Tracy hooked it up and that was the last thing we needed, I believe. Uh, so as long as we get in the gate at uh, STG Logistics in Compton, I mean, we should be able to get the car today. If not, we're gonna have to figure something else out. Guys, we made it. We had to, they close at two. It's 1.57 right now. Yeah. I guess we should stick masks in our pockets. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. All right, it all went through. I am so excited. We did all of this remotely. I didn't have to go visit anybody the customs broker, shipping company, everything. We did it all remotely, um, but it all went smoothly and we are on our way to the other side of the building to pick it up. The forklift driver is gonna load it up. Hopefully we're crossing our finger that it's big enough. Something I didn't know was uh, we needed a delivery order. I took the arrival notice and the bill of lading in and I showed him the just something the customs broker sent me, but he didn't send them the delivery order and you need that. So I just called him real quick. He sent over the delivery order and then they got all the paperwork processed, whatever. We paid a $35 ramp fee. So we're gonna go into a ramp right now so they can load it up and hopefully it all fits. But it went pretty smoothly. I mean, we've been here for 30 minutes. It took us 30 minutes so far. So I'm really excited. Hopefully it all looks great once we unbox it. All right, boys, here it is. It's a little smaller than I imagined it. Oh boy, that's really small. All right, well this is looking a lot smaller and the weight, the specs he sent me for the car I was supposed to get, the weight was like 1,700 kilograms, which is like 3,700 something pounds. This, they, they weighed it, apparently it was 1,500 kilograms which is only like 3,300 pounds. Are there more boxes? Hopefully. I mean, I'm just a little, I'm just saying, I'm a little sketched out right now. Because we pay, because <laughs> we paid 40 grand at this point. And, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, let's see what we got. It's a completely wrong car. Not even. That. Oh. Huh? Not even close. Not even close. It's. Oh my gosh. All right, just for my own documentation, he said, um, contact your insurance. Um, I think the customs broker or somebody handles insurance, shipper handles insurance. But uh, let me show you guys what we're working with. We just took the top off, which was already damaged. So we, we took what we could, and, and this is what we looked at. I thought I was gonna see an electric supercar today. Really cool car. This is what we got. Got some pink Fun V Humvee or whatever the frick this is. I, I, I cannot, words can't describe the anger and the frustration I feel right now. I am speechless. Complete scam company and we're gonna drive them into the ground. We're seriously gonna drive these guys into the ground. They do not deserve to be doing business. So let's get home and uh, see what this looks like unboxed. I guess. That's, that's ridiculous. Well, the first few hours of the trip were extremely miserable. We were supposed to be towing home a Kiantu K50 electric supercar, but instead we had that on the back. 
And this was one of the proudest moments of my life. I mean, I was finally in a place where I could make this big of a purchase, and I always had loved cars, and this was the coolest car that I was gonna have. And uh, so it was a huge moment that was just torn away from me. The second I saw that pink roof, I was just completely heartbroken. And just besides that, I mean, my wife had, she was so cool about the whole thing. I was taking all our money, and I, I was telling her this is gonna be a big YouTube series, and you know, it's, it's gonna be great for the channel, and people are gonna love seeing this. And now here we are, towing home a pink golf cart, almost $40,000 later, and my wife was just so cool about it. But even so, it felt like I let down a lot of people in that moment. Ready to see a supercar from China? <laughs> no, it's a little pink POS. Yeah. translating the Chinese right now. It says new out car, hang on. It's amazing how when I try to take the top off, how flimsy these walls are. Yeah. Yeah. It said something about car. There we go, There's own this. car shop. All right guys, well it's the next morning and I slept on it, I've had some time to process. I've made a couple phone calls, hoping to get some money back on this, this whole scam situation. I know it's, I mean, I already know it's not the right car, but Lord Criteria's gonna help me tear this thing apart. Yeah, so we're hoping the car looks good enough for us to actually have some kind of a fun with it. It's definitely not worth the 31,000 or even 40. Hopefully I can get that nine grand from customs back, but I mean, even if it's 29,000, it's not worth it. When I saw the pink roof when we, you know, just even seeing the package, how small it was when they brought it out, it was just an instant feeling of utter disappointment. And I was just like sick to my stomach, instantly nauseous, didn't have an appetite after that. So we're gonna make the best out of it though. So we're gonna get this thing unboxed. Just see if we can even use any of this. And if it's even a running and driving, I don't know, moped, what do you call this thing? I have no clue. Let's get to it. Let's see what it looks like. That's a joke. It, it came broken. I mean, the package was like this. So they clearly set something on top of it. So if it had been an actually nice car, I mean, the roof probably is all scratched up. I don't know, we'll have to look at it, but I'm just still so disappointed. Just yesterday was probably the most disappointed I've been for a long time. I think you get a ladder and just get on the side and just flip the yeah, whole thing over. Yeah, that's a good idea. Try not to fall off the ladder while I do it. Oh yeah, it's free. Nails. Dang, you get shanked? Like all the way through my hand, there was a nail right underneath. Ah, come look at this. It's not even bleeding, but it shanked me. I felt it go all the way through my hand. Oh. My tendon right here feels kind of weird. <laughs> you good? I think so. Let me take the ring off. Maybe that's just constricting blood flow now, but... <laughs> Ow. All right, ladies, you're single. You saw it here first. <laughs> <laughs> you to pay my hospital bills. <laughs> yeah, see what you got. It's going to break. Right, here we go. You saw it here first. John Cena! <laughs> From the top of the road. Man, that was kind of painful. Is it still rolling? Yeah. That was, that was kind of painful. Right in the middle of my hand. Look at that. It's like, it's like dead center. Now you know how Jesus felt. Oh my gosh. Now you've had a nail in both your feet and one of your hands. One more hand and I you've experienced two crucifixion. Nails. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, you got that right. <laughs> two exactly through the dead center of my feet. One through this hand. Now I just got this hand. So. I'll get a spear and hit your side too if you want. <laughs> you want to knock one of some of these walls out or what? Yeah, do it, dude. I'll, I'll film, man. I've had enough of this demolition stuff. So, like they didn't have enough pieces of wood, so they just stapled them together on the edge. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know, even know how they do that. And there we go. Holy crap! Look at the wheels. Are they tiny? Oh my gosh, they're like lawnmower wheels. Well, let's see if it opens up. Oh yeah, it does. What a super car. This is, this car is so super. The shipping company said that this thing was 1,500 kilograms, which is like 3,300 pounds yeah. or something. It's, it's definitely not that. The Jeep was pulling this whole box without even me gassing it. Like I just let my and foot the off the brake. And the trailer that was on wasn't and even braked. So yeah. Just sitting there with no brake. Yeah. So this thing's probably not even, you know, five, six, seven hundred pounds or something. Uh, I would bet it's. A little bit more? I would bet it's a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds? A well, charger? 
There's some normal, like Chinese, probably standard, like uh -huh. stage two oh charger. Oh my god! There's like a regular. That's the one I used for the little motorcycle they sent me last time. Yeah. That's hilarious. It's probably got a smaller battery than the one that we're building for that. I'm sure it does. Bike. By I'm, the way, check that series out. That was one upside to today was like, we just finished the battery for the electric cafe racer build. So we're stoked on that, but we figured we'd just get this done as well because I do need to take pictures of it to make sure I can send to the seller and ask if this was an honest mistake or if he intentionally bait and switch scammed me. So I'll probably just go grab my camera right now, get some pictures of it, see what the seller says. We're gonna need some ideas, guys, what, what to do with this thing, <laughs> definitely. Here's our $40,000 dollar supercar here it's gonna go 20 miles per hour top speed is 35 kilometers per hour it's a 1200 watt uh, motor this is just pathetic we pop the hood let's let's give it a little bit of a walk around so there it is it's tiny let me just show you this is my hand just for scale just for scale that's my hand it's almost as big as the whole wheel I think it makes a smart car look big it does it's a tiny little thing so here's the interior with its reversed Lexus logos. I don't even know what the actual brand of this thing is, if it even has one. But here's the interior. It got all worn down and shipped too. It was bumping against the back of the package. Yeah, it was. Oh my gosh, wow. Is that metal underneath it? Yeah, this is sheet metal. It's got a camera? Is this a reverse camera? No, that's a key. Oh. That's a camera right there. Huh? The frick. We have to oh, fire this thing up. Let me just show you guys some of the panel fitments too. Like look at this thing right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's super bright and hot out here, but look at this panel gap. This like you can see straight through it. And then look at that. It doesn't even fit at all to like the headlight. Nothing. This is just slapped together in a Chinese factory. Probably cost them, what do you think, hundred, two hundred dollars to make this whole thing? Depends of on their how slave old the labor. Were. Yeah, exactly. The are probably seven years old. And... So that's as far as we got now. Let's uh let's see if we can just get this thing off. I took some photos so we have all the documentation so we could just get the seller, see his opinion, what actually happened. If he doesn't respond, I will just assume it is a complete scam and he knew this was happening. He stopped responding since last week. I was asking about the shipment, he never gave me even a reply. Very disrespectful. Clearly made for children. It is. Yeah, it's a tiny little thing. To be honest, I'm a little bit embarrassed to even just have it in my driveway. Lots of people are driving by. Everybody has been looking at it out their windows. I kind of just smile and wave. I'm just like, hey, neighbors. I know I'm new here, but I'm not like that. Oh, a charger. I shipped out with a 220 charger. As it turns out, this is only a 60 volt car. Yep. 60 volt and 12 amp. So maybe it should charge it pretty quick. It's probably not a huge battery. But it needs 220. Injo's got a converter. Any sort of plug fits in it. Yeah. This, I mean, it Universal. Does, but I'm just not confident that it's going to work. So yeah. we'll plug well, it in and see. Plug it in and see. See if we can get it charging while we're at least like unhooking it. So we right. Can Drive it, it off if we have 20 to. 20 miles an hour joyride real quick. Exactly. I always thought China was a country of somewhat of an honor. Like they held their integrity. Yeah, that was their, that was their to, home code hey, right that's no, what just, i always thought it doesn't even like fit in oh my easily. gosh just yeah, barely in, but gotta really push nothing is well put together well there they are there's two the batteries right one two yep there's yeah, the two batteries. controller they're oh wow it looks like just lead acid batteries i know no. know how to work one of these things Ugh. okay we got one we got two no I won't save it. Save okay. but it is a good platform for like a go-kart or like a dune buggy kind of thing. Not what we wanted, definitely, but I'd rather be going 100 something miles per hour, zero, 60 and three something seconds. But yeah, we got what we got. Make the best out of it. Yeah. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, it's not worth $40,000, but it's fun in its own way, and we're going to make it into a you know, series nonetheless, and we're going to turn it into something cool. You know, We're going to just work with what we've been given you know, and just do our thing. So next video, I'm sure you guys are actually going to see more of the Electric Cafe Racer. Um, we just finished the battery on that and it looks amazing. We can finally start sticking in the motor and everything to get that motorcycle freaking moving. It's like 12 times more powerful than this car, Kurt was saying. So it's gonna be an insane build. So stay tuned for that guys. Make sure your notifications 
are on and you guys are subscribed if you want to catch more videos, even more videos on this thing. I know it's not an actual supercar and I'm still super disappointed over the whole situation. More on the seller coming soon. I'll let you guys know who it was. I just want to make sure it was actual uh, scam and it wasn't an actual mistake. There's a lot that could have happened. Um, so more on that next video as well. So stay tuned guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.